Hi everyone, my name is Hugh Flanagan. Today is November 6, 2019, and I want to talk about the state of the DePaul men's basketball program. First of all, I'm a huge DePaul fan, and the reason being is back in the 1970s, my dad used to take me to games because he graduated from there. So he would take me to games and we would watch Ron Norwood, Randy Ramsey. Um, back in uh, the late 70s, we'd watch Joe Ponsetto, Dave Corzine. They had a nice little run there. And then, of course, in 1979, they made it to the Final Four. And they had uh, Mark Aguirre, uh, Curtis Watkins. They lost to Indiana State and Larry Bird in the Final Four. But what an exciting year. And then in the 80s, we had some great players as well. We had Terry Cummings. Uh, we had uh, we were number one going into uh, the NCAA tournament a couple of times, and I know we lost early in the early rounds, but still it was a great program. We had uh, guys like Rod Strickland, Kevin Edwards, um, back in the in the late '90s, early 2000s. We had guys like Quentin Richardson. We had Bobby Simmons, and uh, we had some great years, some excellent years, and many years of making the NCAA tournament. Sadly, though, lately our program has really fallen off the map, and I want to talk about that. In particular, I want to talk about Dave Lato. Guys, everything starts with the coaching. If you don't have great coaching, you're not going to get the horses, and if you don't have the horses, you're not going to win. That's the bottom line. We haven't had the horses in many, many years, and we just can't win when we uh, have guys. We're bringing out guys that are you know, recruited in the top 200, maybe 200 or 150 going against guys from Duke and Kentucky that are number five in the country or one in the country. Um, bottom line is top high school prospects, they're not going to want to go to DePaul. They would if we had a good coach or great coach and a winning program. Here's the deal with Dave Lato. Let me talk about his, his, uh, his program over the last seven years with DePaul. His winning, his record has been 106 and 16 overall. He's made uh, one NCAA appearance where he made the second round. Uh, he made the CBI last year, and that's an embarrassment for the whole program. I couldn't even believe they went to that pro to that uh, tournament, but we did. Um, we've had four overall winning records with Dave Lato, but if we dig deeper, his Big East record has been abysmal. Here's his record over the last four years in the Big East: seven and eleven. That was dead last. Four and fourteen. 2-16, and 3-15. and, three and 15. I know his Conference USA record was better, but of course that's a weaker conference, and that is the main reason why. But bottom line is, he's been terrible. Um, we just can't keep bringing out the same guy and expect different results. It's not going to happen. When you uh, when Jean Lenti Ponsetto comments on Dave Lato, she always says the same thing. She says, well, he's a great guy. Uh, he's a good family man. He gives back to the community. And I believe all those things are true. I would love to have a cup of coffee with a guy. He does seem like a great guy. But really, does that matter in regards to his coaching, his coaching acumen? Let's face it, he just keeps losing year after year. So let's talk about some options. Dave Lato only makes a little more than a million a year. So maybe DePaul might say, hey, we just can't afford anyone else. Well, first of all, let's dream big, okay? So you've got the top tier coaches, Mike Krzyzewski makes $9 million a year at Duke. John Calipari makes $8 million a year. Uh, Bill Self, $5 million a year. And Tom Izzo, $4.4 million a year. And again, maybe we can't afford these guys. Maybe they don't want to leave their programs. Understandable. So let's talk about mid-tier coaches. Mike Bray at Notre Dame is a guy that I would love to have at DePaul. First of all, his overall record, he started in the year 2000. He's four. 412 and 205 overall. So he's had some really consistent years. He has made the Elite Eight in 2014 and 2015. That is fantastic. We would love that at DePaul. He has had 12 NCAA appearances. He's only had two losing records, and he's had five losing records in the Big East and Big and the uh, ACC combined. Like I said, he's only making 2.4 million a year. Remember, if you pull in Mike Bray and he starts getting great recruits and he starts winning and we start filling that stadium and start selling more paraphernalia, the money starts rolling in, guys. When the money rolls in, we can easily afford $2.4 million. 
and maybe even we can go to a top tier coach. Look, bottom line is we need a new coach. I love Dave Lato as a person, but he's not getting it done. Guys, please leave some comments and I would love to talk about this. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm hoping for better things in the future for the DePaul men's basketball program.